Hi there. Welcome to the Exploring the User Interface chapter of the Getting Started module. In this chapter, we are going to look at various components of the Autodesk Navisworks interface. So without further ado, let's get into Autodesk Navisworks window. Rightio. So this is how Autodesk Navisworks window looks like by default. The button that you see on the top left, this is called Application button. When I click on this button, it displays standard file menu with command buttons such as New, Open and so on. Notice that command buttons such as save, save as, export, and so on are grayed out right now. That's because I don't have any file open in my current Navisworks session. On the right of these command buttons, this area lists some of these files that I've been working on in recent past. It is important to note that by default, only four files will be listed here. In my case, I've gone and modified my Navisworks options to display 10 files. How do we do that? That can be done by clicking on this options button. When I click on the options button, it will display the options editor dialog box. If I go to the general category and click on environments, it will display this maximum recent used files area. This is the area where we can specify how many recent files we want to see in the application button. As I mentioned, only four files are listed by default. In my case, I've gone and changed this to 10. Clicking OK in this dialog box will close the dialog box. Now this area that you see on the right of the application button is called quick access toolbar. Quick Access Toolbar has some command buttons we often use such as New, Open, Save, Print and so on. Again, because I don't have any file open in my current Navisworks session, buttons like Save and Print are grayed out. Below the Quick Access Toolbar, we've got these things called Ribbon Tabs. So the Home Ribbon Tab, Viewpoint Ribbon Tab, Review Ribbon Tab and so on. Underneath these Ribbon Tabs, we've got these areas called Ribbon Panels. So on the Home Ribbon tab, I've got the Project Ribbon Panel, Select and Search Ribbon Panel, Visibility Ribbon Panel, and so on. Ribbon Panels are the areas where similar working commands have been grouped and placed. It is important to note that a number of times in this course, I'll be asking you to go to various Ribbon tabs and Ribbon Panels. So I might ask you to go to the Review Ribbon tab, which is this one here, and then Measure Ribbon Panel, which is this one here. So please keep in mind, these things at the top are called Ribbon Tabs, and these one are called Ribbon Panels. You would notice that a number of these command buttons have down arrows either below them or on the right. These buttons are called flyouts. Clicking on the flyout will display additional command buttons that you can use. Again, a number of times in this course, I'll be asking you to click on a flyout. So for example, select all flyout and then pick a command button from that. So please remember this terminology. Now this area below the ribbon panel is called drawing window or graphics window. This is the area where the model will be displayed once you open. On the top right of this area, we've got this thing here called View Cube. View Cube is used to view the model from various directions. There's a little Home button on the top left of the View Cube. Clicking on this button changes the current view to the standard isometric view. On the right of the Graphics window, we've got this bar called Navigation Bar. Navigation Bar has got various navigation tools that we'll look at in coming chapters. Now, it is really important for us to understand that while working with Navisworks, we'll be using various windows. These windows can be selectively displayed on the screen by clicking on buttons like Clash Detective, Timeliner, Selection Tree, and so on. Or alternatively, you can activate a workspace. Workspaces are available on the View Ribbon tab under the Workspaces Ribbon panel. By default, Autodesk Navisworks loads with four workspaces. Safe Mode, Navisworks Minimal, Navisworks Standard, and Navisworks Extended. Currently, we are in the Navisworks Minimal workspace. As a result, we don't see any window on the left, right, or bottom of the graphics window. To switch to a different workspace, you can simply click on the name of that workspace from this list. For example, if I want to switch to Navisworks Extended Workspace, I'll simply click on this name. It resets my Autodesk Navisworks environment, and then it displays all these different windows on the left of the screen, on the right of the screen, and also at the bottom of the screen. Some of these windows on the left and right are displayed in the docked mode, so they are pinned on the screen. Whereas some of these windows are displayed in the auto hide mode. Auto hide mode is where by default these windows are hidden. But if you move the cursor over these windows, they'll slide out and would show you that particular window. Similarly at the bottom, if I go and move the cursor over any of these windows, they'll slide up. I strongly recommend that while working with Navisworks, we create our own workspaces. That way we can decide what windows we want to be displayed on the screen by default. In our case, we are going to use this extended workspace to create our own custom workspace. I'll first close the plan view window. I don't need this. I'll close the section view window. I'll also close the tilt bar. Now sets window is one of the windows that we use on a regular basis. So I'm gonna pin this on the screen. 
this is how I want my Navis works, workspace to look like. So to save this workspace, I'll go to the View Ribbon tab, and in the Workspaces, I've got this Command button called Save Workspace. When I click on this, it will display the Save Current Workspace dialog box. It is really important for you to note that currently you are saving this workspace in your App Data Roaming folder. Please note that if the workspace is not saved in this directory, it will not be listed under the Load Workspace flyout. So I'm going to call this workspace as Training, and I'll save this. Because I saved this workspace in the right directory, it is now listed in here. So at any point of time, I can switch to any of the other workspaces and I can come back to my training workspace at any point of time as well. The whole idea of saving the workspace is so that if any of my windows go missing, instead of me finding where that window is, I can restore my workspace. All right, so because we learned so much in this particular chapter, let's quickly recap all these things. This button that you see on the top left, this is called application button. When you click on this, it displays standard file menu commands like new, save, save as, but will also show you some of the recent files that you're working on. By default, only four files are listed here, but you can click on the options button and change the settings to display as many number of files as you want. This area on the right of the application button is called quick access toolbar. This quick access toolbar will display some of the command buttons you often use like new, open, save, print. Notice that save and print commands are not available because I don't have any Navisworks file open currently. Below the quick access toolbar, we have got these things called ribbon tabs. Underneath the ribbon tabs, we've got ribbon panels. Some of the command buttons in these ribbon panels have down arrows either below or on the right. These are called flyouts. When you click on these flyouts, it will display some additional command buttons that you can activate to invoke other commands. On the top right of the graphics screen, we have got the view cube that is used to display the model from different directions. On the right of the graphics window, we've got the navigation bar. Navigation bar has got various navigation tools that we'll learn in coming chapters. On the left and right of the screen, I've got a few windows displayed now. These were not displayed by default because by default we were in Navisworks minimal workspace. We have gone and created our own workspace based on Navisworks extended workspace. To do that, we went to the view ribbon tab. Under load workspaces, we loaded the Navisworks extended workspace. We closed the windows that we did not need, only displayed the windows that we required, and then we saved our workspace by clicking on the Save Workspace button. The important thing to remember is that workspaces need to be saved in our App Data Roaming folder. Otherwise, they will not be listed in the Load Workspaces flyout. Now that we understand the components of Navisworks interface, there are a couple of important global options we need to configure before we start working with the consultant's files. For that, I'll right-click anywhere in the blank area of the graphics window, and I'll click on Global Options. Alternatively, you can press the F12 key. On doing so, the Options Editor dialog box will be displayed. Under File Readers, if you click on Revit, on the right side of the dialog box, it will show you certain options. Couple of important options to understand. If I click on the Coordinates list, make sure that Shared option is selected from here, not Project Internal. This will make sure that the shared coordinates from the Revit model are used to open the Navisworks file, not the Project Internal coordinates. The important thing to understand is the Convert list. The convert list by default shows Navisworks view. What this will do is in the Revit model, it'll go and look for a 3D view called Navis or Navisworks. If it finds that view, it'll go and open that particular view. If it cannot find that view, it'll go and open the first 3D view that it finds in the list. The problem with that is in that particular 3D view, if you have turned off the visibility of certain objects, those objects will not be displayed in the Navisworks model. In my case, the data set that I've provided you, I've created 3D views called Navis in those Revit files. The problem is when you're working with the real world consultants files, they may not do that. So to make sure that everything in the Revit model is opened in the Navisworks project, we'll click on entire project from this list. This might take a little longer to open the Revit file in Navisworks, but it'll make sure that the entire project is opened. There is one last thing we need to do in this dialog box, which is turning off convert room geometry tick box. The reason I've cleared this tick box is because normally in Navisworks, we do not need room geometry information from Revit. And if you really do, we can always come back here, select this tick box, click OK in the dialog box, and refresh our Navisworks NWF file. It'll then bring in the room geometry information from the Revit file. I'll click OK in the dialog box. We are now ready to work with the consultant's files. We'll do that in the next clip. I'll see you there.